hello out there wherever you are. As for me, well, I'm sitting in traffic because of course it's Pittsburgh and it's a sporting event. So who doesn't like a little traffic? Trying to get on the Boulevard of the Allies because it's Pittsburgh Penguins versus Nashville Predators. Fan appreciation night, the last Penguins home game of the season. And, uh, you know, they do some giveaways, they do some prizes. Unfortunately, um, it's, you know, I was hoping to get here earlier than I did, but that's not in the cards for me because the Boulevard is at a standstill. Fun times. But, um, not a great season for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Um, you know, I, they did rally within this past month or so, uh, to at least keep it interesting. But last I heard, I, and I don't know, they could be completely eliminated by now. They had, at last look, about a 10% chance to make the playoffs. So, if that 10% still holds, so you're telling me there's a chance. <laughs> um, I'm guessing not, but, you know... I've seen unlikely scenarios before, and, you know, you could debate all you want about whether the Pens are deserving at this point to be a playoff team. Uh, certainly Sidney Crosby is deserving to be a uh, in the playoffs. You know, and there's a few other Pens I could certainly put in there, but can't say everyone, unfortunately. Some people have had a uh, less than great year. So, let's eventually get to PPG Paints Arena to catch Pittsburgh Penguins, Nashville Predators, Fan Appreciation Night, and Tom was here. Hey, I'm Patrick Baby, and you're watching Tom Was Here. <laughs> uh, just pulled into the parking lot. I was supposed to be parked and everything at about 6.40. It's now 7 o'clock. <laughs> the game started at 7. Not very happy at the moment. Should be four one, but two one. Not great.
Stick in their ribs. Just let them know you're there. Bleed all over them. Let them know. <laughs>
also come say hello and thank you for being a season ticket holder. Number 87, Cindy Crosby. I know, he's really so humble, he can't, he can't handle that shit. Once again, our thanks to everyone who was out on the ice, including the players, and we thank you for staying here on Fan Appreciation Night. Still more hockey to be played. We'll talk to you soon, guys. Good night. in the car now um unfortunately when it comes you know to pens games or seemingly any other stuff when i arrive later than i should you get a disjointed video i didn't intend to be late unfortunately when someone hits a deer near the boulevard of the allies and a cop puts his woo-woos on everybody's gotta stop and look and if i'm waiting in line for something i'm gonna have to take my look too i've already paid the admission the admission of time and now I gotta wait and see the weird deer that got annihilated near the Boulevard of the Allies which delayed my overall time frame we don't know we did only miss about six minutes of the first period before we actually got to the section we need to sit in but then we went and got food and it seems there was quite a lot of action in that first period including two goals that were turned away a very questionable referee decisions the second one, the more um, egregious of the two, uh, when the goalie reached out, touched the player, the player didn't touch him, and they still caught a goalie interference. Um, e are they were they were they trying to fix something in there? I mean, it was very highly questionable, and there was a lot of boo birds out, and rightfully so. But the Pens did win, and they won handily, um, and they still have a chance. It's a very slim chance, probably in the single digits at this point, but a chance nonetheless. And I guess that's all you can ask for. The season's probably cooked, though, unfortunately. <laughs> it's probably cooked for them, um, but always good in to get a fun Pens win on Fan Appreciation Night. Didn't win anything with any of the cards. Didn't win anything with any of the giveaways. We were in a section where we got no parachutes. Anybody dropped in on us. No t-shirts were caught. No jerseys off our back. None of those things we received. Which I'm confused on the jerseys off their back thing. It seems everybody was there to collect a jersey. But I noticed they were still giving away cards even though we were late in the game. And I assume the cards are distributed randomly. Could it be a situation where someone, um, you know, one of the ushers still have, a, or one of the people that are giving out the tickets, the little cards, still have a card in their hand that you know, it gives away a jersey. I don't understand that. Somebody's going to need to explain it to me because I don't understand it myself. Um, but it would be interesting if that was the case where um, <laughs> someone, you know, somebody, there was a winning ticket and they never gave it out. But I guess, it, my guess is they give out all the winning tickets early. Um, so... I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe someone can let me know. I, I, maybe someone knows more than I do in that regard. But uh, always good to see a Pens win. Um, and they've been competitive all this last month. The problem is they haven't been competitive all year. And that's the issue. They've been super competitive this past month. I just wish it was that way all year. Unfortunately, it was not. Um, some work's going to have to be done for next year. We're going to see how... Um, Kind of their resolve in this regard. Are they going to add some more players? Are they going to shake things up? Who knows? There's rumor that Evgeny Malkin was going to retire. Um, you know, I saw his kids out there on the ice. They were doing the jerseys off their back thing. And the kids were out on the ice. And, you know, they were showing clips of Malkin's parents crying and stuff like that. You know, when he was scoring goals and stuff. Is Malkin going to hang it up? Who knows? But, as for right now... Penguins decisive win over the Predators and that'll do it guys thanks so much for watching if you're new here make sure to like share and subscribe if you like support me on Patreon like John Bailey like Brett Persing like Faye N you can do so link is in the description below if you'd like to buy a t-shirt you tell us your t-shirt you can do so at Spreadshirt 
as well as links to my eBay store, Instagram, TikTok, and the Pennsylvania Autograph Collector Association. Links are in the description below. But when it comes to Pittsburgh Penguins, Nashville Predators, Fan Appreciation Night 2024, I can officially say that my name is Tom and I was here. Thanks for watching, like, and subscribe. Bye, everyone.